Rebel Fellowship here, just taking a photo of us on the train. We're in the first car. It's pretty interesting. My God, Rich, we bless you. Back from our trip of tracking, we're just learning not to strive and to uh, be a faithful witness. May God bless you all. Uh, we had an interesting conversation with a woman who was Jehovah Witness and uh, once we asked how long she was a Jehovah Witness uh, she told us 30 years we had to really curtail our conversation we also uh, gave a track to someone who showed that they had some understanding of the uh, the falling away but we found out that he was a Seventh-day Adventist so it's it's been a very good learning experience for us that just because someone is in agreement with the tracks it doesn't mean that uh, we ought to rejoice right away that's something that I've been doing uh, a lot of our mission trips is rejoicing uh, that someone is is accepting the information and, and now I'm learning that is not a wise thing to do. We leave it in Jehovah's hands because, you know, some people are receiving these tracks and you do from time to time get some, you know, positive encouragement. But that's all that it is. It's just positive encouragement. You know, salvation is of Jehovah. And uh, we just learned today that if someone is rejoicing with the, the information, it doesn't mean that that, that God is, is necessarily working in their lives. Now, he can use the tracks for his purpose, uh, but that doesn't mean that that person has spiritual understanding, even if they're showing that information or confirming the information that you're giving them. So, a uh, very interesting point there. And also, just to recap, uh, we've been taking a couple of trains today, and... Uh, we went to a small town. Uh, you saw that 20 minute video. You're going to see the 20 minute video uh, today. Um, but we also had <laughs> lots of tracks going out, lots of people just looking at us. We truly are a sign. We truly are a sign to these individuals um, who see this information. Uh, they're just looking at us with bewilderment. They're also looking at us and thinking about it. I've been saying the word uh, the end of the world in many different languages and there was a father, a wife and two children. When I said the end of the world, the father turned around, looked at us and asked for the tract. Uh, many times I would say end of the world and we would get some kind of eye. But uh, in this case when I said end of the world uh, he looked at us he walked back, walked in our direction, and uh, he took the track. So, very encouraging. Very encouraging day. We also had many people ignore us, completely ignore us. Uh, we also had people look at us and, and turn back again and take track. So, uh, we don't want to respond to the reactions of individuals when you're tracking. You know, when 50 people go by and they don't take a track, we're human. We're human. Um, we're going to wonder, am I doing a good job? Am I extending the track properly? Am I being faithful? So, very, very important to consider uh, when you're tracking. If no one's taking the track, you want to definitely check how you're speaking, how you're moving. But uh, if you're being reasonably faithful, you're being respectful, and, and no one's taking the track, uh, I, I would not necessarily uh, begin to doubt. It's just that... Uh, the, the gospel is a savor unto life, unto life and death unto death. All right, everyone. Thank you very much for watching this video. May God richly bless you. And uh, until next time.